derivation of sine rule and cosine rule and how to use them to find the unknown sides of a scalene triangle which is called solution of triangles. Let's have this triangle ABC. It has three angles. We represent them by capital ABC. They are the three angles of the triangle. The measures. Now small a, small b, small c represent the length of the sides, the three sides. Small a is the side opposite to the angle A. Small b is the length of the side opposite to angle B. Small c is the side opposite to the angle C. So small a, small b, small c are the sides. So a triangle has six parts, three angles and three sides. Now we are going to have some formulae connecting these six quantities. Using those formulae that we are going to derive, we will be able to find unknown parts when some of the parts are given to us. Maybe it is some angles and some sides and few are unknown. We will be able to trace the rest. Such work is called solution of triangles, solving a triangle, finding the unknown parts of a triangle. Now, let's begin our derivation. In this triangle ABC, I'm going to draw an altitude AD. Altitude, perpendicular drawn from A to the opposite side AD. Now, we have two right triangles here. Out of which I'm taking triangle ABD. Triangle ABD is a right triangle. In this right triangle, let me take a ratio. AD upon AB. AD upon AB. These are... The, this is the ratio of two sides of a right triangle. You concentrate only on the right triangle ABD, whose 90 degree angle is D here. So this AB is the hypotenuse. Now this AD by AB can be written as sine of the angle B. Sine B is opposite side by hypotenuse in this small right triangle. So, AD by AB is sin B. Let me cross multiply and write AD is equal to AB sin B. And we know AB is the side we will be representing by small c. So, AD equal to small c into sin B. Keep it here. Now, let's go for the other triangle. One more right triangle we have here. There I am taking again another ratio. AD upon AC. AD upon AC, this time it is in this triangle. This AD upon AC is opposite side by hypotenuse in this right triangle. Opposite side is of this angle C. So it is sin C. Cross multiplying we have AD equal to AC into sin C and AC is nothing but small b. So AD is equal to small b into sin C. Look, we have two equations. In both of them, we have found the length of AD in terms of the sides and angles of the original triangle given to us. Both are AD. So, from these two, we can say if this is AD and this also is AD, they must be equal. C sin B must be equal to B sin C. We have got a new equation connecting the two sides and two angles of the original triangle that we took. Now, this equation, let's take it further. I'm going to divide both sides by BC, small b, small c. When I divide by BC here, C and C will get cancelled. I'll be left with sin b by b and here sin c by c. Or in other words, you may say cross multiplication. So, sin b by b equal to sin c by c. Or if you cross multiply, you will end up in the previous equation. Keep it here. Remember, this is an equation connecting two angles and two sides of the original triangle given here, given to us. It was not a right triangle, it was any triangle. Alright, now let's go to the diagram once more and have another construction. This time I draw another altitude, BE. The altitude BE should be drawn from vertex B, BE. It again divides it into two, two right triangles. Once more, I take these two right triangles one by one. First, I would take right triangle ABE, ABE, small one. Here, let me take a ratio. 
B E upon A B. That is regarding B E upon A B is regarding sine of angle A. Angle is opposite side is B E ninety degrees here, so this is the hypotenuse. A B is the hypotenuse in this small right triangle. Ninety degrees here, it's opposite. Here again, let me cross multiply to have B E A B sine A. And this AB is nothing but small c, so B equal to small c sin A. Similarly, go to the other right triangle, have the ratio BE upon BC, BE upon BC sin C. So cross multiplying, B is equal to BC into sin C and BC is nothing but small a. Once more, we have got two equations. This is BE, this also is BE. So, B and B must be equal. So, we can equate the RHS C sin A equal to C sin A sin C. Once more, divide both sides by AC. Small a, small c you divide. We will end up in this equation. Look, we already had another equation of this kind. Now, we have this. Both of them have the RHS the same. But LHS is different. So, we notice that sin A by A is equal to sin C by C. But sin C by C is equal to sin B by B. Basically, we can say all the three ratios will be equal. Sin A by A equal to sin B by B equal to sin C by C. This triple equation is called sin rule. Realize one thing. Though we used right triangle on the way, we eliminated that altitude by equating the other two sides. And we landed up in getting a relation regarding or using the three angles and three sides of a scalene triangle. So this result is applicable to any triangle, be it scalene triangle, be it obtuse triangle, be it right triangle even, isosceles, equilateral, any triangle. In any triangle ABC, sin A by A equal to sin B by A equal to sin C by C. This is called sin rule. Very useful rule. ABC, capital ABC are the angles. Small ABC are the sides. Now let's have another relation derived. Once more we are in the same triangle with the six parts. Sin rule is ready. Let's go for another rule. In this triangle ABC, once more the altitude A is here and from this right triangle ABD, I go by Pythagoras theorem this time. We can have AB square, this is the hypotenuse in the small triangle. AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square. Here it is, simple Pythagoras theorem. Now, I would like to write this BD. BD is a portion of BC, a part of it. So this BD I am going to rewrite as BC minus DC. BC minus DC. So BD square will be BC minus DC whole square. Now, this equation, this expression I take ahead. AD square keep as it is and expand this in the form A minus B whole square. So, it will be BC square plus DC square minus 2BC into DC. Alright. Now, look. In this whole equation, this AD square and DC square, these two terms, these underlined ones, what do they mean? Come here. AD square plus DC square. Look, this is a right triangle in which AD square plus DC square will surely be equal to AC square Pythagoras theorem, AC square. Now let me copy down the BC square as it is and the last term 2BC into DC. Now look, my LHS is AB square, AB is small c, we can replace small c, the part of the original triangle we can use on the LHS. RHS AC is full side, so that will be replaced by small b. BC is now full side, here this BC, which is small a. This BC again small a, this DC is the only incomplete part, DC. But let's try to write this DC in terms of the six parts. See how? Let me take the right triangle ADC in which I'll take 
cos C. Cos C is supposed to be adjacent side by hypotenuse. So DC by AC will be cos C. DC by AC is cos C. Adjacent side by hypotenuse. I am talking about right triangle, not the full triangle. In right triangle, trigonometric ratios. Adjacent side by hypotenuse is cos C. Now, let me cross multiply and write what is DC. DC is AC cos C and AC you replace by small b. So, this DC can be replaced as AC cos C. This was only part, a part of a side. So, that is being written in terms of AC, the full side and the angle. Now, let's go back and rewrite. Once more the step. Instead of DC, it is AC cos C. AC cos C is written. Now, let's bring down the LHS also here. And this is the equation we have. Now, what is special? All of these sides or angle involved are full parts of the triangle. So, AB square is small c square. AC square is small b square. BC square is A square and 2BC AC is AB into cos C. Look at this equation. It now consists of all these six parts only. Angle only once, small c, oh, sorry, angle c. And sides ABC are used. Let's rewrite this negative term. I'm taking positive on the left side and I'm left with A square plus B square minus C e square. So we can rewrite it as cos C is equal to divide by 2AB. I have this. Yes. This is called cosine rule. Cosine rule. Cos of any angle can be written as an expression using all the three sides. Very useful relation. This is called cosine rule. Let's see how to remember it. Cos C. If you are talking about angle C. Right side is written only in terms of the three sides. Numerator you watch. All the three side squares are involved. But whichever the angle you are talking about. Here I am talking about angle C. So the C square will be negative. A square and B square positive. And in the denominator 2AB. The positive ones only go to the denominator. Somehow this is a clue to remember the formula. This is called cosine rule. This is for angle C. A similar formula could have been derived for angle A. As I told you, if angle A is taken here, so small a square negative, the other two positive. And the positive ones, twice of the product denominator. So what would be cos B, the next one? Cos B would be, B square will be negative and A, C will be in the denominator. So here it is. So three cosine rules are there. You need to remember only one of them actually. The rest can be written according to the shortcut that I have just explained. Cosine rule and sine rule. Very useful rules in solving a triangle. Solving a triangle means finding the unknown parts of a triangle if you are given sufficient number of parts. 